Over in Cobb County today, an intense standoff on the interstate shut down I-75 in Marietta for more than an hour. You saw it all unfold live on CBS 46 this afternoon. Police say this started with an armed robbery. CBS 46's Ayana Crystal joins us live with the very latest on this. Ayana. Brittany, Marietta Cobb and state officers all worked together to end this peacefully, which it did. Thankfully, there were no injuries, but traffic was a nightmare. It was opposite of what you are seeing right now. There were no cars on the interstate. All you saw were police lights swarming a car. We just moved into this new building nearby and uh, want to come check out the commotion. There was quite the commotion. This morning, drivers traveling on I-75 southbound near Windy Hill in Cobb County were at a standstill. It is quite a bit alarming, especially here in this uh, very busy business district on a Friday afternoon. Uh, part, part of rush hour for the lunchtime rush. It's quite surprising to see. Police shut down all lanes. There was a standoff on the interstate. It's quite crazy, especially especially for a, just a basic robbery, but it, yeah, it's it's pretty crazy to see it, especially uh, leading up to spring break on a Friday and no cars coming down, police blockade. It's uh, quite a sight here in Atlanta. Police say the driver committed an armed robbery at this Walmart off of Cobb Parkway. I, I just I was just coming over here to pick up something at Walmart. Did, wondered why the traffic was so bad. That's pretty insane. I, I didn't think that this was the type of barrier to get robbed, especially at Walmart of this size. When Marietta officers attempted to conduct a traffic stop, the driver did not stop immediately. He eventually pulled over on the shoulder of I-75 between Windy Hill and I-285. It was an intense hour and a half on the freeway. SWAT was called out. There was a heavy police presence with at least a dozen officers and emergency personnel. Negotiators spoke with the driver and after about an hour and a half, officers pulled the driver out of the car. The man is now in police custody. At least they got him. That's, that's insane. We have learned that the suspect is at a nearby hospital where he is being evaluated. Right now, police are not releasing his name. We're live in Cobb County, Ayanna Crystal, CBS 46 News.